Hey boys and girls, I don't know about you, but being at home means sometimes things can get a little messy. And it seems like some kids in my family don't always wanna clean up after themselves. Sometimes I don't wanna clean up after myself either. So I found a book that my mom used to read to me when I was having trouble cleaning my room. It's called The Big Tidy Up by Nora Smerridge, and it's a really old book. I don't know if you can see this, but right here, my puppy, he loves to be reading with me. So he's sitting right here. Hopefully he'll be quiet while I read the story. All right, it's a big book. So I'm gonna try my best to get the pages so you can see. There she is. That's the main character. The big tidy up. Looks like I made a little art in there when I was little. Jennifer knew, as well as you, that everything has its place. But she just didn't care a whit, a bit. So her room was a real disgrace. Her shoe was askew on the windowsill. Her scarf was under the bed. Her beautiful box to keep ribbons in was full of old junk instead. A very old worn out lollipop was stuck to her bathroom pocket, her bathrobe pocket, and her bureau drawer, it was plain to see, had been struck by a super rocket. Is that what your drawers look like, boys and girls? Jennifer's mother looked in one day and her smiles all turned to gloom. She couldn't disguise her shocked surprise at the state of Jennifer's room. Your new blue sweater is not the thing to try on the cat, she said. Why is your doll on the closet floor? And what's that lump in your bed? You must like to live in a mess, I guess, with your things all every which way, so I won't touch your room with my mop and broom from now until Christmas Day. But we don't want people to see this room with your things all lying about. So on Jennifer's door, she quickly hung a very big sign, keep out. Jennifer had a lovely time for two or three days or more. She set her hat on the ivy plant and she hung her jeans on the floor. Her comb, two hankies, and one white glove fell under the bedside chair. So did her slip with a great big rip and Jennifer left them there. Under her pillow, she kept some pie to eat when she woke up at night and a nice raw carrot or two to chew to give her an appetite. She did her homework in ink, I think. As she lay flat down on the bed, she got finger paint on the pillowcase and never turned down the spread. Oh, Jennifer. Then little by little things went wrong till Jenny was filled with gloom at the fusty, dusty, musty mess she had made of her nice pink room. The bed was prickly. The floor was strewn. The chairs were heaped up too. There wasn't one bit of room to sit unless she sat on a shoe. Up in the corner, he liked it there. A spider was calmly spinning. He had only a tiny web so far, but of course, it was only the beginning. Jen could never find two socks that matched. Not one of her shirts was clean. She looked at herself in the mirror once and she wasn't fit to be seen. Where, oh where, had her hairbrush gone? There wasn't a single sign. Her hair stuck out all over her head, so she looked like a porcupine. Poor Jennifer.
Jin sat and thought with a worried frown. Perhaps I should run away. No one could leave in a, live in a room like this from now until Christmas Day. But it wouldn't be fun to run and run, then have to sleep in a stall or a spooky wood. Though of course I could not have a room at all. She's thinking of a solution. Boys and girls, do you have a solution? I bet you do. So Jennifer opened her window wide to let in some good fresh air. The spider gave her a nasty look and scuttled off to who knows where. And then Jen picked up stuff, blew away fluff, shook out the mat, hung up her hat. Swept the floor, tidied the drawer, made the bed, smoothed the spread, and worked and worked for most of the day until every last thing was put away. And at last, when her room was neat as a pin, she hung up a very big sign, come in. So I think you know what you have to do. Whatever you got out, whatever you've been playing with, go tidy it up. It'll make you feel a lot better and it'll probably make mom and dad happier too.